so you guys can have your own opinions in the comments down below, but I definitely think that these channels are great, especially Nathan. So you know what, Nathan? Rock on and keep improving. I'm getting too old for this. We're doing it again, because my other video did well enough, I guess. So let's get into it. Alright, what's up guys, it's me SML Continuity here, and I'm back with another channel review. But this time I'm reviewing a Mario Plus channel, known by the name of The Comedic Pros, which is definitely refreshing after reviewing two Sonic channels in a row. But I did enjoy them. With the other channels, they had some uh, negatives, but they were overall positive because I enjoyed them. Especially because it felt like me whenever I would record something for the first time. But with this channel, it was mostly weak to me. There was many issues with it. Only two videos that I was actually watching from, like, what, six videos that I actually enjoyed. But, there is something that happened here that was actually really special. Even if it was mostly negative, when I watched the two-parter videos, Back to the Medio, although I didn't watch the whole part of the second one, I watched the first one. So, as it turns out, uh, there was some history behind this channel that I didn't really know about. Tur as it turns out, the comedic pros actually would igno ignore comments that would tell him that he had problems with his videos. And, as it turns out, he responded to them with an apology video, which surprised me. But then afterward, he made back to the media, and I saw the first part, and I was impressed. So, this channel isn't most isn't completely negative. It is mostly, but with the improvements, I can definitely say there was light at the end of the tunnel, even for this channel. Even if it started off really bad, it did improve, and I think the creator has a lot of potential. I'm gonna be honest, though. This video was pretty much delayed for the longest time, because I was too lazy, and also because school started again, so I didn't have any time at all. Um, especially because I had a test at the time, but, uh, now I can say for certain I'm back, for a little while at least, because tomorrow I got school again, but I'll try to make two videos today, even if the second one doesn't release. But also, this video will be tackled slightly different while I'll discuss the videos, but also I'll discuss pros and cons, rather than just in three formats. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey, what the frick are you talking about? We're not in no... 2008... Alright, we're discussing pretty much the shortest part of this video, the pros and cons. So, there are many cons and even inconsistency problems with this channel. So I'll discuss the pros first, as I want to start it off positively. The first thing that I would say is positive about this channel is whenever there's a scene, the music sets it very nicely. It sets a decent tone throughout the whole video, and, is an inter and it doesn't intrude upon the dialogue. It doesn't interrupt it, and it's not very loud. It's just there, but it's okay. I'm gonna be honest, the only bit of comedic value I had with this channel, despite being called the comedic pros, besides back to the media, the only thing I had was the slapstick. The slapstick was actually pretty well done, like with Mario and Luigi constantly getting hurt, or just them getting injured as a result of <laughs> making mistakes. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest, before I saw back to the media, there was actually some good moments, but they were mostly just boiling down to slapstick. The rest was boring, tensionless drivel. So, the next is just general improvements for the whole channel. One, the apology video. This was actually a good thing as it did help establish that uh, Comedic Pros was willing to improve anything. Second off, the thumbnails. The thumbnails were alright before, but they improved a lot, especially with videos like Back to the Media, which had a really good thumbnail. Alright, we're going to be discussing cons for now. Now, on to the first problem, filler jokes. What are filler jokes described as? Jokes at the Critic, t uh, typically, like with how Super Mario Logan makes jokes at people like Deb H. Dude and or SML Reviewer, where instead of fixing problems, he instead makes fun of a problem that they pointed out just to get back at them because they pointed out the issues, therefore. Or just jokes that paint the Critic in a bad light. So, what makes a filler joke necessarily bad? One, it points out the problems that you are not even willing to fix. Two, they're lazy. And three, even though filler is already a bad thing, and it drags on a video because the person who's making the video is too lazy, you making a joke about it, it just shows that you're not willing to fix it. So in my opinion, they're just risque jokes that you shouldn't be making. And the next one, this is going to be a lot shorter, is not, going, not much going on with plots. Often it'll just be long conversations with characters that drag on the video even longer and create its own um, set of filler moments. 
And so nothing really happens with certain plots in some videos, like with Luigi swears. There's not much going on other than Luigi saying a cuss word, Mario gets pissed, and then they try to stop him from that by basically torturing him to some extent. Also, a lot of his videos, or at least the ones I watched, had some really stupid endings. Like when, at the end of Luigi Swears, um, Luigi gets put into a goddamn washing machine. The same way that Yoshi got, p got put into a dryer at the end of the April Fool's Day special from Super Plush Bros. Which, that gave me hard flashbacks to when I watched Luigi Swears. So anyways, what else? There's two more problems that I have that are major. One is a major inconsistency, and the other is an even bigger one. So, in most of his videos, he'll have plushes. But in, in another majority, he'll have friggin' figures in the, instead. So he'll just switch randomly between Mario plushes and Mario figures. And the, and the next one, the last con that I have to discuss, is switching between parodies, switching between animations, and switching between your own original content. It's very confusing. There's no, there's no thin line to draw here. I feel like you should at least, maybe, I don't know, give some sort of schedule, like you release, oh, a plush video, then a parody, then it... Uh, animation. You should at least do that, because it's really sporadic and random. Whew, okay, that was a lot of problems, but let's discuss the actual videos. Hey, what the frick are you talking about? We're not in no... 2008. It's me, Mario! I gotta say, like I said before in the beginning, when I said this channel is very weak, these videos weren't doing much to help out, as most were very mediocre, and looking previously at what I noted in the videos, cause I wrote down what I thought of them, yeah, it's easy to see why. So starting off with the first video, Luigi Swears. Yeah, you'll notice right away that most of Comedic Pros' old videos had his recording being sideways rather than horizontal, but eventually he fixed that. But whatever. This video is pretty boring. It's mostly just Luigi cussing, Mario and Yoshi getting mad at him for it. He doesn't learn from it, which causes them to just get pissed at him. So you know what they do? Kidnap him and make him wash his own mouth out. Pretty much Mario grabs him and puts his head in the sink. And I'm sorry guys, but this ending really does evoke some bad vibes from the April Fool's Day special by Super Plush Bros. Dryer. No, Alright Luigi, in you go. Oh, you too, you Mario makes a sandwich is really bad. There's a bunch of problems, well, mainly a couple problems that compound on the video till it's dead quickly. So, what are the problems with this video? One, the filler jokes. Seriously, do not make filler jokes like this because they paint your reviewer in a bad light. He's not necessarily doing that, he's mostly just making jokes about how it's slow. But that's the problem. This video is so boring. It's mo mostly just down to Mario throwing crap around the kitchen, bad ca camera work, and nothing else, really, other than filler. So, this video is pretty awful. <laughs> also, what I said earlier about music suiting the scenes very well, this video pretty much broke that rule. My ears were bleeding the whole way through. Finding Yoshi was incredibly mediocre. Not really much, once again, going on. I know I'm gonna keep repeating that, but sorry. There's just not enough going on with these plots. So, what happened in this video? Apparently, Mario and Luigi woke up to find Yoshi missing. They go around the house looking for him, and you know what? I'm just gonna spoil the ending right away. You know what happened? Apparently, Yoshi thought that they were playing hide-and-seek. This video was incredibly dumb, boring, and finding out that ending, that was really stupid. It should have been at least something else. It could have been a cool, I don't know, kidnapping plot, something like that. But no, it was kind of just lame. Even a hide-and-seek style video would have been fun, but no, it was just kind of ruined. The only real redeeming factor of these videos was the two slapstick moments that happened where Mario and Luigi got hit in the face by what looks like an opened hatch. Here, I'll just play one of the clips. Yoshi! <laughs> the Clones was a annoying video to go through, to say the least. In fact, I'm pretty sure I might have skipped some moments from it, considering the fact that this video drags on for 15 freaking minutes. Now, I can appreciate a video being done to the point where it, t like, goes on for a while. You know, kind of giving, like, some some sort of a TV show vibe, movie vibe. You know, kind of like with, with what Super Mario Logan does when he makes a 20-minute video. You know, I can appreciate a video being longer than just five minutes. Like, with most, uh, smaller plus channels. But, it does not work in this video's favor. What happens is that Luigi gets a gun, clones himself and Mario. The clones are just here to show up. 
and then constant boring conversations which take up at least two to three minutes long gave me some bad vibes from the series Thug Life by Super Mario Richie, despite me per personally somewhat enjoying it. I'll discuss that series in another video uh, another time. So, besides the long and boring conversations and the fact that it drags on for way too long, what else happens? Well, the only thing of note is a cool little montage of the clones somewhat taking over Mario and Luigi's lives. And after that, Mario and Luigi get pissed, have a pretty bad fight sequence, then afterward Yoshi comes and destroys them. And then, that's it. So, this video was pretty bad to get through as well. Alright, so just to give comedic pros some actual credit, we're going to be taking a look at the first good video that I watched, A Toyish Pest. Luckily, this video wasn't that long, and it was actually a pretty short video, which actually I think it works in this video's favor. It reminds me a lot of old Looney Tunes cartoons, and it gave me a lot of vibes from it, mainly due to the good slapstick and funny looking effects. So, this video, I'm not actually going to spoil about mu not much about what happens, but basically two little toy Mario characters, I guess, uh, annoy Mario and he tries to get rid of them, but they hurt him instead. And it works in the video's favor and it's actually pretty decently funny. I advise you guys to go check this video out. It's a toyish pest. You know, I didn't really want to make this video all too much because although it seemed like a good idea, I really had a lot of issues with comedic pros. Many of his videos had bad things in them, and I didn't want to have to soldier through so much crap just to find something good. I only found one decent enough video, and even then, that's it. So, I was look I was honestly just kind of sad about it, because I was like, I don't want to have to rip someone apart. Especially someone who's not as experienced as other people, uh, like Sonic Vlogs, or uh, other people like Nathan the Crazy Kid. But, there was a good thing that happened. Eventually, he, he uh, Comedic Pros made an apology video to respond to all the comments that he deleted or ignored. Because people were trying to tell him to fix some problems, but he never did. But eventually, he listened, made the apology video, and afterwards, Back to the Medio came out. Which was a great two-parter series that I'll discuss. First off, the video improved so many things. 1. The jokes. 2. The effects. And horizontal recording. Thank God. My video is going to look weird now that it's going to have some horizontal recorded... That, sorry. That it's going to have some vertical recorded videos. Okay, what makes Back to the Medio, at least the first part, so much of an improvement over his previous videos? Well, 1. It doesn't drag on. It actually feels like the length it should be. 2. It's not even cringy or quiet. And 3. The effects are way better this time. And 4. There's actually another character this time, that being Mickey. And also, the plot is pretty funny. It's based on, you know, Back to the Future, of course, but also there is some fourth wall breaking humor, like saying, oh, this is a trashy series. That's literally what it says at the beginning of the video. In fact, if you look at the very beginning of my video, I include a part where it says that. So, I don't really want to spoil too much about this video other than the fact that Luigi and Mario travel back in time to get to their place. So, I advise you guys to go at least check out this part, because you know what? Despite there being some very rough parts along this whole thing, despite me complaining a lot about certain problems uh, for comedic pros, this video showed me that he is truly willing to improve his channel. And eventually, maybe not this week, maybe not next month, I will check out part 2 eventually, and I'll even check out if he's made any new videos that are improvements. So you know what? Comedic pros, you may have had several problems and me shitting on you for some things, but you know what? After seeing Back to the Medio and talking about it here, I think you have a lot of potential especially. It's just that you started off pretty bad, but I think you can actually make something good out of this. Make it positive, you can keep going, and rock on.